hey, genuine well-wishers and constructive critics to whom I am thankful for letting me know my negatives. At the outset, I wish you and your beloved a safe journey in 2022 and subsequent years, in spite of the three waves of Corona, with fourth and subsequent waves in pipeline, in progress, all variants of concern in full swing in India, all with high mortality rates besides other natural calamities all over the globe. It is social activist come good-hearted preacher, Professor S. Suresh, back with sheer ecstasy, reborn again, and in fact, for my 193rd video. On Anvil of Publication on YouTube today, 7th November 2022, Monday, when it's pouring cats and dogs. The topic for today is Superbikes Myths Busted. I assure you my videos are short and sweet, worth every femt of second of your precious time. We are mortal, but our videos are immortal, so we live through our videos forever. So I am confident that I live forever, having published 193 videos so far, including this one, for the benefit of society that are absolutely free. Superbikes. Motorbikes are mot motor vehicles with the two wheels. and a strong frame powered by some type of prime mover. Motorcycles are versatile and may be put to many uses as the rider sees fit. A sports bike, also known as sports motorcycle or is a motorcycle, not R, is a motorcycle designed and optimized for speed, acceleration, braking and uh, cornering on asphalt, concrete, race tracks and roads. Sports bikes are mainly designed for performance at the expense of comfort, fuel economy and storage in comparison with other motorcycles. Sports bikes can be and are typically equipped with fairings and a windscreen to deflect wind from the rider to improve the aerodynamics, if you know what aerodynamics is. Superbike, litter, litter class or litter bike that is 1000 cc 61 cubic inches or higher the world's first uh, super bike was built by brothers Ross and Ralph Hannan in the mid late 1970s as with super sport many of the models in this class compete in super bike racing open class hyper sport our hyper bike are terms sometimes used in life of super bike as a catch all for everything larger than middleweight. The term super sport and super bike are sometimes applied indiscriminately to all high performance motorcycles. Sport touring motorcycles share many features of sports bike, but they are generally considered a class all their own. These are mid to large size motorcycles that offer more carrying capacity, more relaxed ergonomics and more versatility than specif specialized sports bikes while being lighter and more agile than touring motorcycles. Superbike racing motorcycles must have four stroke engines of between 850cc and 1200cc for twins and between 750cc and 1000cc for four cylinder machines. Superbike World Championship, also known as SBK, is a premier international superbike championship. The championship was founded in 1988. It is regulated by the FIM and managed and promoted by FG Sport. Drawbacks of superbikes Fuel gasworks, that is, specific fuel consumption is very high. Youngsters use these kind of bikes to perform stunts on public roads, endangering their lives as well as other road users. Fatal accidents caused due to these superbikes is on an exponential rise. High price, one has to shell out a minimum of Indian rupee 2 lakhs in India when ordinary motorcycles are available starting at Indian rupee 50k. Maintenance, uh, maintenance costs are very high, high octane fuel needs to be used, high decibel engine, high noise pollution. Damages the regular asphalt roads attributed to speed, quick braking, leading to sparks flying off the wheels. 
quick acceleration also known as pick up meant for uh, racing and not for everyday driving entices people to race against other drivers on public roads leads to road rage ending in street brawls even with enforcement agencies ruins the health of the drivers attributed to adrenaline rush people use these high end bikes without any training whatsoever when it is a must to sensitize these prospective drivers on road safety most common causes of motorbike accidents apathetic or inattentive driving including rash driving the negligent right turn or left turn driver depending on the country traffic threats one is forced to yield to bigger vehicles on roads uncontrollable factors like adverse weather conditions bad state of roads like potholes that's very common in india even on so called highways national highways and civilized people on roads stray animals unruly drivers who think that they can do any damn thing on the roads as they please lane splitting as a matter of fact people do not even know what a lane and lane discipline is in countries like india incessant honking and irritating the other road users nearly 50% of the drivers in India do not have a valid driver's license and even those that have do not know the road signs rules and regulations vehicles moving at different speeds using the same lane that is no dedicated lanes for high speed vehicles low speed vehicles etc vehicles stalled or parked in the middle of the road inconveniencing the other drivers that too without placing any warning signs or flags driving under the influence of intoxicants over speeding driving above the legal speed limits inexperience or lack of requisite driving skill yeah some of my relatives have this road rage bad condition of the vehicle including maintenance problems driving vehicles unfit for usage passing a stop sign or red light following vehicles very close not maintaining a safe distance depending on the momentum of the vehicles sudden braking failure to yield opening the door of the vehicle on the wrong side taking sudden turns without turning on the indicators driver fatigue blind turns using mobile phones while driving what we need for city driving are ordinary motorcycles and not super bikes if one wants to perform bike stunts or races regular roads are not the right place they should use racing tracks meant for such purposes for regular commute we don't need vehicles with a quick, quick pickup our vehicle manufacturers listening they market these bikes as if there is no life without them and youngsters fall for it as well so many families are forced to shell out more than they can afford borrowing heavily and ultimately landing in dire straits so my conclusion is use ordinary vehicles for regular commutes and if you are an adrenaline junkie with a deep pockets go for such super vehicles one and only for racing on proper racing tracks debates discussion on open ended topics like this can go on forever any one let me pull the plug here we'll meet again real soon with another interesting topic some of the statements views expressed are solely mine based on limited knowledge gained over six decades of versatile experience always watch these videos with close caption subtitles for absolute 100% comprehension as per my sincere recommendation zillion times so far i have made it as my policy to complete the presentation within 20 minutes maximum today must have taken about 10 minutes because of the editing that i do simultaneously this time limit is self imposed to read in the viewers attention as a norm stay at home as much as possible to maintain social distancing attributed to pandemic novel covid 19 and prolong your life span lead a healthy life god also known as the supreme power is the one and only one who can put a stop to natural and natural maybe by our and cyber events like pandemics and epidemics which ultimately pays a way for apocalypse and extinction of sentient species and earth for no fault of this rest in peace and harmony